Good evening, yogis. Ready for another great night of sleep? Today's affirmation is, I am calm and peaceful. And let's get right into it. Come into a tabletop position. Shoulders over hands. And hips over knees. Now curl your toes under. Bring your hips up and then walk your feet to your hands. And we are going to simply dangle down over our feet. And that is, in fact, what this pose is called dangling. I am calm and peaceful. And as you dangle here with your head pointing down towards your mat, think about just letting go of the day. All your thoughts about the day, about the things that didn't go right, the things that you should have done. And just let them pour out of your head, down into the mat, and let that just melt away into the earth. Begin to slow your breath down, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Try to make those inhales and exhales even, and not really getting too hung up about it. You can have your knees bent a lot, trying to emphasize a long spine, allowing us to breathe, although we're in a slight compression here, and that in and of itself can be very calming. Relax your shoulders, soften your face, your forehead space between your eyebrows, your eyes, relax your jaw, let your shoulders be soft, falling gently towards the earth, and while you're feeling that stretch on your hamstrings, do your best to breathe into it and relax those hamstrings as well. Notice if you're feeling a little calmer already than you were when you walked onto your mat today, tonight. A couple more breaths. Last breath. Inhale. Exhale. And slowly come down to the mat, back into your tabletop position. I'm going to sit facing the long end of my mat so that you can see what I'm doing. You feel free to face the short end of your mat. Bring the soles of your feet together. And your feet can be further away from your body. They can be closer in. Let's see what feels comfortable for you tonight. Maybe notice if you move your feet around where you're feeling that. Maybe you're feeling one pose a little bit more in the hamstring. Maybe you're feeling the stretch a little bit more in the lower legs. And sit up straight. And you can continue to hold your ankles. Or if that's too difficult, you can also hold right onto your knees. And if you'd like, and I do, <laughs> you can take your arms underneath your legs. And then let your head be very, very heavy. 
We're no longer trying to straighten our spine. We're just really letting go here. Letting our knees relax and begin to open up. This is called butterfly pose. I am calm and peaceful. And take your head, if it's jutting up a little bit like mine was, go ahead and relax your jaw and your neck and begin to really go within. Like the name of my company, Go With Yin Yoga, it's a play on Go Within. Let your head begin to come towards your chest. And you may notice with time, it's coming lower and lower, closer and closer towards your feet. And the goal of this pose isn't to get into any one particular shape, it's mostly to go deeply within and let all your muscles relax as much as you can. Letting go of your day, being supported by the earth. Always feel free to pause and stay in a pose longer. I could hang out here for a really long time, but I'm trying to keep these practices relatively short. Even these short practices are really going to help you have a better night's sleep. And our last pose is legs up the wall. And this is a great pose to do anytime you've done a hard workout. If you're a runner like I am, if you've run really hard or had a long run, when you travel, it's an absolutely wonderful thing to do when you get to your destination. And so you want to shimmy your hips as close to your wall as possible. You can use a piece of furniture, whatever you have, a door. And then you're just going to slightly turn towards the wall as you swing your feet up the wall. And then just shimmy your butt right as close to the wall as you can. Feeling that back, really relax. It's fully supported. This should feel really, really nice. It should feel very relaxing. If it's a little bit too hard on your legs, you could always bend your knees a little bit and let them fall open a little bit. Whatever feels right to you. You can have your arms a little bit away from your body, palms up, as we do often in Savasana. You can take your hands to your belly, which is a really nice way to get in touch with your inhalations and your exhalations. Let them slow down. You can take your hands to your heart, or a hand to the heart, and one to the belly. I like to have my hands down here. It helps me to relax my shoulders. I am calm and peaceful. For our last few moments together, really take your attention to your breath, really beginning to slow it down, getting ready for a great night's sleep.
last couple of breaths. Make them the deepest breaths you've taken all day long. Begin to bring your feet to the wall, bending your knees. Take one arm along the mat and just very gently and softly fall on over to one side. Press yourself up into a seated position. I know that's all a little bit awkward, but hopefully it felt really good. I know that feels really good to me. I really hope that you have a very calm and peaceful evening and a great night of sleep. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Namaste.